Hi. Uh, it's funny, from two different sites in the course of a day, I got a message from two different people talking about how I could maybe make things better by having a better view of what's going on here. It makes sense. I'm not sure if you've noticed. There's not a whole, whole lot of room in here. There is not. And right now, I have this camera set up in the very far corner, because I know I have space there. But in order to get a shot of here, to show what I'm doing, um, I am willing to try, of course. I am. I'm going... Oh, by the way, here's the Amiga 2000 I've been tinkering with. I wanted to do some more testing. Let me just see if this comes on. It does come on. See? It's tough. Anyway, what I'm going to do, as this sort of sits here and does its magic, I'm going around to the other side of the table. You won't be able to see me for a moment, or a few, <coughs> because... See, the floor here, recently, maybe not so recently, has got a little busy. Oh, I can't even get there. Excuse me, excuse me one second. Um, with things I've been working on. Anyway, the idea is... I'm going to go around there and see if I can get the tripod set up there so that I could do this. My goal, of course, eventually is... I'm just moving an Amiga 1000 out of the way. Whoa. But my goal is, which would be well in the keepings of Amiga tradition would be to um, to do what? Um, oh, to get set up with a toaster. And uh, be able to literally switch between things here. Anyway, I'm still here. I'm just trying to make a little room here. Where I might set up another tripod and another camera. But, as I said, it's kind of tight in here. Part of it is in having, being able to have a fairly short uh, lens, so that it, actually a really wide angle lens would be great. <coughs> is then is, right now anyway, is to try and accomplish this on the table or on the floor. That is a fine, fine question. On the table, the tripod can be a lot smaller and spread out. Oh, sorry, not take up nearly as much 
space. On the floor, you have to have it much higher. Either way, it must be in a secure place. I'm just, you know, this is a pool table I want, so I've just got to make sure also that I don't try and set it up on the hole. By the way, speaking of tripods, I do have quite a few. I do. I do. Oh, what was I going to say about that? The thing I was going to say about tripods are, I do like um, I do prefer the ones that have that don't have the separate thing. Now it's funny. I wish I had my glasses here because I'm not sure. I mean, this says it's in focus. But it doesn't look so great here. And I really think I have to get a little farther back here. Oh, well, maybe not. But also, when I push on this camera, anyway, you know, when I push the movie thing, it moves in. So, the other thing I have to do, this is a DSLR, I'm just testing this out. Right now it has a nice view of the Amiga, which that might not be bad, but I still think it's a little close to the whole everything. And maybe, it, even though it's telling me it's in focus, it may not be. The other thing, oh, when you set up things like this, there's nothing worse than when the camera goes, hey, wee, wee. oh, Sheldon is here. Hi, Sheldon, I'm a little busy. Um, is when a camera kind of goes in and out of focus and in and out of focus and in and out of focus and what I typically do is I, I will shoot a still picture, get the focus set and then put it on manual so it won't move. Hi Sheldon, how are you doing? Yeah, no, Sheldon, hi, yes. I know, I'm tinkering here. So I'm going to stop this recording and I'm going to see, hi Sheldon. Sorry, I know you can't see but Sheldon is here. And I know some people very much like having Sheldon around. Hello, Sheldon. So I'm adjusting the tripod so I have two legs towards the back to get back a little farther. Thank you, Sheldon. That's a claw, Sheldon. So one thing I can tell already is that this light, I've got this little light over here, it's got to go from where it is. There's just no way it can be there. I don't know what to do. It's the right, oh, it's a shadow now. Oh no. Words outline. I can get this up, up, up into the air. And maybe you can throw a nice light down into the machine, which will make things look better. Now, as I have this set here, I'm going to attempt to try. That is a little further. I'm going to have 
some shadow issues no matter what I do. Just check here. Sorry, I know I'm not there. Um, just shooting. I'm looking. I'm trying to figure how we're doing here. Another thing. Yes, okay. So, <coughs> we have the focus set. Still, I wish I had brought my glasses. Anyway, we're going to give this a try. So, I'm coming back. So what I have set up here, whoa, I'm coming around, here I come, is my DSLR, and it is now focusing in on the machine here, while you are seeing me here, excuse me. I like these pants, but they pester me. Okay, so, here we have an Amiga. Now this, the view from over there should just be the machine. So what I'm, what I was hoping to do, I'm going to turn this off. And, um, this is the one I had hoped that this other hard drive here had worked, but it didn't. But I was going to try and tinker some. But what was I going to test? Oh yes, I was going to test the um, the power supply and the floppy drive. So I will have to. And what, I, what I'm going to do is just take out the whole works that is here. Take it off because the other one uh, from the other machine it, it powered up okay there's something wrong with the board because of battery leakage which I am not pleased about but things happen so I'm going to get now it's funny because this you want to see better. There's not much to see here. What I'm doing is taking this whole. What's up? Nope. Oh, it will not come out if you forget to remove a screw. So I'm going to take this whole, and there, there should be more screws holding this, but I think they are not all there. So this should now. Suddenly the power supply is, is free. And then there's just this ribbon cable that goes to the floppy drive controller, which is on the main board. So I'm just going to find a place to set this down. hurting anything. And here we have the inside of Omega 2000. And this version 6. Yeah, this board looks like it has <coughs> bigger capacity RAM chips than some of the other ones. So now, 
we have another identical power supply and floppy drive. Now, one of the hard things about this is this floppy drive connector. Oh, well, that wasn't so hard. It's kind of in the way. Not really terribly, but it's with the power supply and everything in. <coughs> it is quite difficult to get at it. Whereas the power connector, it's in the same position, but it's just it's just bigger and easier to deal with. <coughs> so there, we're lined up. It's on. It should not be on. <coughs> we are lined up. It could be a little better lined up. So, we apply power. We turn it on. This is mostly to test the floppy drive and the power supply. So the drive is making nice noises. The hard drive is coming up. And this might be in the way. So this is the hard drive that I hoped had been working, but it was not. So let's set it there. So this machine is now up and somewhat happy. And now there's all those things to see. I'm going to just pop a disc in and see if the disc drive sounds favorably to reading it. DF0 bad. Yeah, well, that, as I know this is a good disc, that's not encouraging. Let's try another one. That sounds a little, oh, now this one says workbench. Maybe it just needed to work out. I will try another disc. Actually, the first disc I tried before. Workbench. Well, that sounds encouraging. It seems. Maybe after 20 or so years, it just needed a little waking up. Cool. Well, it is nice to know that it seems that this drive is working. I think I would like to try and do format as an extra location. Here is a mouse that is not yet plugged in. And should I be doing this with the power on? No, probably not. But I will. So the mouse is moving. Oh, okay, yeah, now this this yes it says is bad and it is. So we're going to click on it. We're going to tell it to initialize. And continue and continue. And let's see what happens. This, the disk itself, um, I did format on a 1581 disk drive. I did. So, maybe it will work. Maybe it will not. It seems to be. Anyway, this is all. This operation is really um, an unfortunate necessity because, of course, the other machine suffered, I believe, to be catastrophic, catastrophic, terrible battery troubles. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So, and actually, I don't know if you can see it here, but here is the 68,000 ship that was in the other machine. And it is most certainly got a broken pin, which I did by accident. I'm not sure if that helps at all. Um, right here. But it seemed the socket was somehow clogged up and contaminated. Because I went to go and push another chip in, and it tried to do the same thing to the same pin. So I stopped very quickly and said, oh, no, I'm not doing that. I am not. So... Well, this is encouraging that this floppy drive and power supply and cables all seem to be good. Parts are good. Undoubtedly, I'll need 
I need something of these, something of this. Um, okay, the drive, the disc is finished, and it says empty. Woohoo! So that's encouraging. It is. I suppose another thing I could try. would be, and by the way, it's hard to see up here, duplicate, yes, duplicate, put the source disk in DF, yep. continue, so I'm having it <coughs> right now, it is reading uh, a workbench disk. It is indeed. So for those of you over here, hello, for those of you who are looking at the close-up, there's not really much to see in this, I know. Um, as I said, what I really want to do eventually is get a system set up with many cameras and have it so that I can switch them with a toaster. Maybe, maybe have one really good monitor as the output and then have the main recording camera just point at that and get a really good recording of various views and various things, not just, oh, okay. What do we got? Put. Oh, I can barely read that. Put Workbench 1.3. All right, I'm not sure, but I like that. I want to put Quick Workbench 1.3. I think I'm supposed to switch disks now. So, I'll give that a try. Yep, okay, so we're talking. So, um, yeah, so I'll continue to experiment with different views of different things as we go on here. This, just the way this machine is, it's not really great. I mean, over here, hello, there's, you know, stuff on it. I'm not doing much here, so it's just kind of the same. The other one, you know, copying a disk at all. But, um, I'm imagining that what I guess I should try and do with this camera, although I don't know if, if I can do it well on the table is to get it higher, this camera, higher and looking down. Um, or I suppose maybe I could try and move that one. So it was more over here and higher and looking down. I'm not sure yet. We will see. As you can see, it's kind of tight in here. So, the... Uh, the disk is copying. The drive seems to be working. At least, kind of, I guess this, it was a 2008 shoot, I guess it's now pretty much become like an organ donor um, in terms of chips and parts and things and such, I suppose. But I suppose. So. We're almost done. 71, 72. There are 79 tracks. 76, 77, 78. And what is it going to say? It's going to say... Copy of Workbench. Excellent. So, um, well, we know we have some parts that are working. And uh, I'm going to slip around here to turn off the close-up camera. That's another thing that's difficult, is starting and stopping things in a delicate fashion when you can't really reach them. How is this doing? Well, it's still recording. Excellent. Anyway, we're going to sign off from the close-up camera. 
This is uh, not the first attempt at this, but it's the latest attempt at this. Thank you for coming. Bye for now. Well, hmm. yes. Well, I think I will turn this off. Oh, what? Oh, about tripods. Yes, about tripods. There are a lot now that have these little things that you can leave on the camera and have them come in and out and all, and that's all fine and well and good, but you know what, most of the time when I end up finding tripods at a second hand store, those little parts are the things that have gone missing. So typically, I look for tripods at such stores where they have the permanent screw type situation, and yes, you have to flip the thing up and turn and do whatever, but um, that little thing can't get lost. It cannot. So, our, our attempts to find working parts uh, from this Amiga 2000 continue. Um, we found some chips. Certainly not the 68,000. And I think Workbench was bad. And um, but the power supply seems good, the drive seems good, of course the assembly that holds it all looks fine. So, parts are good, parts are good. And I'll continue to experiment with other camera angles, who knows, maybe eventually this angle will be gone. Anyway, for the moment, that's all I have to say about that. Thank you for coming. Questions, comments, always welcome. Bye for now.